possession. It's Robbins who brings it home. Shooting back there. Empty opportunity there for Ohio State. Here's Gotch on the move. They would like to get him going if they could. And it's Robbins who has the first five points. Meanwhile, Gotch has taken four of the first seven shots here from Minnesota. Here is Carr again distributing. To Robbins. And he's got seven points. Coming out of the timeout, they go to Liddell, and the shot blocker is there. Liam Robbins leading the Big Ten in blocks per game this season. A 12-1 scoring run for Ohio State, and Mashburn knocks down the three. It's the third three-point make for the Gophers. To get everyone else involved, and yet they still have a three-point lead. In the first, what's approaching the first nine minutes here of this game, challenged by Robbins. What a block by Liam Robin. Here's Liddell. He was kind of waiting for that double team, it looks like. Step through move, and he's going to have a tough time against Robbins tonight. Backdoor look here for Young with Robbins challenging. He got a piece of that, too. One with no Marcus Carr field goals. Robbins staying with it against an undersized E.J. Liddell. Robbins with that deep post job. He like caught, turn, and hook shot all in the same motion. Cross court pass here to Kelsher for three. Johnson game get a season low 10 points, just five points here in the first half on one of four shooting. Washington, they ripped it away, and a transition opportunity perhaps for Minnesota. That Chris Holtman said was to stop their transition points, and the Scarlet and Gray doing a good job getting numbers back that time. Robbins with the spin move off the glass. You can count it and one. For picking up a game against Baylor. They did lose it, but that was scheduled on the fly about two weeks before it. Both Illinois and Michigan State obviously going to Duke. Washington made the three-point basket there for Ohio State. Coming out of the break. Eight-point advantage. Here's Carr, who's been quiet. And I forgot he can create his own shot. Here is Robbins, who shot six three-point attempts this year. He makes his third of the season with that one. Show us an NBA range. How about we've got two shot attempts from Minnesota. One from their seven-foot center, as Robbins contests that, and the other one from their six-nine-four man. And those are the three-point attempts from Minnesota to start this game. Nice action right there. Simple two-man basketball penetration draws the defense in. Count the bucket for Robbins. He'll go to the free throw line for the end one. Inside the lane, Robbins, nothing going that time. Gonna challenge again. That time he draw the contact in the body. I totally agree because Big Ten teams are loaded. And they can't figure out a good balance for him and maybe Booth Gatch and Kalsher getting a little bit more aggressive on the perimeter. That's right. I love it. And it just shows how small this college basketball community really is. Robbins, that's your guy, Stephen. He gets the first bucket for Minnesota. It really balances your team out. Alec trying to challenge Robbins. He's got five blocks on the night. Mentioned that he hit a couple of threes in the final four minutes. Six of his eight points coming down there, and they go back to Robbins. Why not? Sometimes they have to sit him out back to back practices, which is not great for him, for someone who's got to get back into the rhythm. As they feed Curry into the lane, there's some rhythm, and an and one for Eric Curry. Offensive possessions here in the second half, they just haven't put enough of them back, back to back. This has been a problem for the Ruse, and it continues to be a problem as Robbins picks up another couple. A lot of times you see guys rush into their move. Alec did not. Robbins the reverse, bouncing it around. Shoulders against him. David. Robbins, the Big Ten, why are we doing this? And then it can come back to Carr. Second chance for Robbins but that huge victory against Iowa.
And an early three-pointer picking up where they left off against the Hawkeyes. Liam Robbins from outside. Eight of nine, as you saw a moment ago from outside the arc for Johnson in that win over Iowa. Four of them in overtime. Liam Robbins, though, he hit the three earlier, and now he's looking for the old-fashioned three-point play as he backs down Joey Hauser. Minnesota hits 17 threes against Iowa. They're two of seven so far. They get the ball right back. A little behind the back. Booth got Henry shot fake, got Mashburn up, trying to hammer it, but he got blocked by Robbins. But Marty Sissoko trying to play defense here on Robbins, and he fails to get to him in time. And that's another guy, Robbie and Sissoko, that hardly ever plays. Langford going up with that pull-up jump shot, a tough mid-range. Carr doing a nice job of not fouling. How about the first half by Liam Robbins? He already has 10, 17%. Late shot clock, Carr swatted by Gabe Brown. A great job by Gabe Brown of staying in that play. And Foster Lawyer forcing the issue. Let's see if it pays dividends. Down into the post, Hall against the taller Robbins, trying to lean in, reverse. Garza. They do not have depth at that center position as Robbins able to alter that shot. There's Robbins. Spins around Garza and lays it in. Boy, really nice footwork. He's camp. Had it blocked by Robbins. Garza gets it back. That doesn't go. And Gotch has it for the Gophers. Here's Cara. Wide open three and he hits. Inside Robbins. Lays it in. Alsher inside Robbins and the foul. Two sides making things happen here for Iowa. And he has it blocked away by Robbins. Seven on the shot clock. Carr being hounded. Robbins for three. Got it! Liam Robbins hits the three. Johnson bobbled it momentarily. He's trapped in the corner. And now I was got a foul ahead of the pack. Robin. Got a sick feeling. I can't see.